Okay, so going to the, the library from this this uh, park. I rode my bicycle over to the, the free food place. They call it a community kitchen, but they serve they serve free meals there. So that's pretty, oh my God. My camera picked up the face on one of them statues, those air statues. I saw the little box. <clears throat> I think I know where to go, where to turn, just by memory. I've been up and down this road a few times. Hmm. Yeah, I'm driving over because I parked near there anyway. I just came over to this spot for the cooking. Oh man. I gotta say, once again, uh, the right side of my gut, it just, every so often I could feel like a tightness there. Again, a slight tightness. It's like so persistent. I don't think I'm ever gonna kick it, and I wonder how much worse it can get. It's so concerning. And at that community meal, some older lady announced that she had cancer. Oh, I do need to turn here. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I kind of overshot the, the library, but I can still, I'm still not, I didn't overshoot it by a lot. In fact, I could park here and then walk to the library. Uh, you know, I'm interested in doing that. I was told that it's okay to park here. I didn't see any, there's no time limits. Maybe this will be good enough. Just to be close enough. It's two, it's like four hour parking time limit down below. These bathrooms are open for the public. There's public par parking. I don't charge any money, it's all free at this harbor. A clever person solves problems, smart people avoid them. Hmm. A half mile ahead to the RV park. I got Wi-Fi. This is all for fishing. As can be seen. Alright. I've never seen a motel advertise Netflix. I got it right on the sign. Not too many people in the RV park, it looks like. More people just kind of casually parked. So that's the RV park, maybe 10 or 15 people, more like 10. 
apparently there's two distinct fish, two distinct salmon that you can get different sizes. I'm sure there's, yeah, these are the other fish, not the salmon. Looks like they give individual stalls here. Free day use stalls? They got numbers though. St. George. That's it. <laughs> That's as far as I can get. <clears throat> All right. This thing. So not sleeping right on the coast is more popular, but a little off of it is more desirable the way it looks. Alright, so the legal lincod is 22 inches. So that, that one is not legal. Anatomy. Oh. Alright, I've taken this road. I don't, I don't know exactly where it goes, but it does follow the coast. There was a time when razor clams were like the main course and for meals. Check this out, they got turkeys and they got one turkey at least. And a goat. Right in their backyard. Looks like somebody started a fire. Alright, so we got Driftwood Estates on the coast. Looks like they're living pretty good lives. This is very tight security. I even saw a camera, but check out that that cool view. You got the ocean right off of the distance. Don't really see many homes. They're kind of off over to the left. Practically any age can join the, the Navy, the uh, Coast Guard. Alright, no beach access. So this is the no beach access ride. And I thought I was, these houses look like they're almost a part of the private property that's all heavily fenced. I guess not, they got kind of a wall. <clears throat> and it's all, the beach is all private property. It's a pretty neat view with the mountains off in the distance. backdrop works and then the beach is over here the ocean Three hundred and nineteen thousand. 